Richard, thank you very much for your presentation. Um, and, and next presenter is going to talk on blended learning models for dermatology medical students. So I'd like to welcome Christina to the, the microphone. Hi, everybody. It's a great honor to be here today. I'm glad for the opportunity to talk about my experience in medical education. My name is Christiana. I am a dermatologist, and I work as a professor of the Federal University of Bahia, Brazil. I have no conflict of interest to declare. First of all, you should know that dermatology is one of the most rapidly developing specialty in medicine, and also the most sought after subject by postgraduate aspirants. Despite the expanding field of dermatology, and even after the curricular reformulation, the time devoted to teaching dermatology has decreased or stayed the same. McCleskey in 2009 find, found that only 10% of medical schools require a clinical dermatology rotation, and that 93% of all of the institutions offer dermatology as an elective rotation, usually a four-week clerkship. In some institutions, dermatology disciplines are not even offered. The amount of time devoted to dermatology in medical students' curriculum represents only 0.3% of the four years of study. When we evaluate the student satisfaction, we can see that 90% of medical students feel that they received inadequate training in dermatology during graduation, and that less than 40% of primary care residents feel that their medical school has adequately prepared them to diagnose and treat common skin disorders. A growing hiatus has been noted between increasing health care needs in dermatology and the competence, competence acquired by medical students. The current available time for dermatology training is not proportional to the number of the cutaneous disease that are likely to be encountered in their future medical practice. Actually, only 1% of the time of graduation has been allocated to teaching dermatology, and it is estimated that 15% of all medical consultations in a general outpatient clinic are due to dermatological problems. Medical training needs to find a balance between the contents that will be listed in the curriculum and the number of cutaneous disease that are likely to be encountered in their future medical practice. Despite large investments, there is lack of sufficient evidence to support the effectiveness of digital in the education of health professions. In view of this reality, with the use of technologies that are able to optimize learning in dermatology as a visual specialty could be very useful. This study explores new pedagogical possibilities in the field of dermatology teaching for medical school students using online tools and evaluate the impact of this program in learning. It's important to, see, to, to, to uh, say that this uh, study, we made it before the COVID pandemic. In this study, we analyzed the impact of online teaching tools on the performance of the second year medical students of the Federal University of Bahia, Brazil. This study was uh, five distinct steps. In the first stage, we made a photograph of patients with dermatological disease at the outpatient clinic at the Federal University. The second stage, we developed an e-book teaching specifically for this course using the case cataloged in the stage one. In stage three, we created an online course, we record the, the video and publish them at the Moodle platform. In stage four, we divide the students into groups, face-to-face course and a hybrid course. And we made the assessment pre and post course. In stage five, we analyzed the results. In the both groups, in both groups, uh, they received face-to-face uh, activities, uh, the, they had face-to-face -face patient care activities. Uh, the control or conventional learning group utilized traditional classroom paper-based tool activities and the hybrid group utilized our e-learning course and e-book made specially for this course in a hybrid online plus traditional format. The dermatological topics were the same for both groups and included semiology, dermatological infectious disease, skin cancer, dermatological inflammatory disease, and drug rea reactions. The hybrid group they, uh, received the face-to-face -face and online activities. The e-learning module in online group included an eight-week course that was ministered simultaneously with face-to-face -face classes, a new text, video, and online discussion forums 
forum, which addressed the same content as the face-to-face -face classes were, was available each week. In addition to face-to-face -face communication, students in the hybrid group could receive feedback with discussion boards or by sending direct messages to the tutor. The students in both groups were submitted to pre- and post-course, was the same, ev same uh, uh, test. A 20 multiple choice test was given to all students before and after the course with the scores ranging to 0 to 10. Any students in the control and hybrid course received identical presential evidence-based contents and the course had the same eight-week duration. Uh, the results, a total of 129 students were selected. The students were allocated into two groups. The control groups with 57 students utilized a traditional classroom paper-based two activities. And the hybrid group, 72 students, utilized our e-learning course and e-book made specifically for the schools in a hybrid online plus traditional format. Uh, here we can show the results, the pre-test, uh, in the conventional and hybrid group, the scores were uh, slightly different, but this difference wasn't statistically sig significant. We can see that in both groups, the pre-test and post-test, uh, they, they could, uh, the scores improved, and this improvement was stati statistically significant. In this graphic, we can see this difference, and in the hybrid group, the scores were higher, and this difference was statistically uh, significant. Let's talk about the advantage of each uh, format. In the e-learning, the e-learning uh, uh, format, uh, the the, the 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 most advantage was it it can increase the student's progress in a simple and more accurate way. It offers the possibility to watch the classes several times at more convenient time and places, and it increases student-teacher communication by means of email and online discussion forums. The disadvantage of e-learning was that these methods do not support direct contact with the teacher, nor the patient, which may limit their observation and diagnostics of certain pathologies. This method is dependent of the available availability of electronic device with adequate internet access. And this, this method needs a highly education, educated and motivated and expert core team of teachers. We made an e-book especially for this course and the vast majority of students approved the use of this new technology for dispensing the dermatological subject. There were no complaint about this way of dispensing knowledge. For conclusion, these results suggest that perf the performance of the undergraduate students attending the course with additional e-learning material was superior to the traditional course alone. Um, even with these uh, uh, positive results, we should never forget that innovative technologies do not replace the need for enthusiastic and knowledgeable clinical teacher. Thank you.